Prince here, and this is the White Horse of Hanover. Um, basically, you know, the uh, reading off the, uh, the packing slip is 2020 UK White Horse of Hanover certified BU five pound coin. Obviously, as you see, this is the uh, change checker version. Because obviously they kept, they also have a uh, what those bigger. Uh, you know, coin versions. But also in this thing, I got this change checker trading card thing, which I have never seen before. So, shall we see what it is? Or, or shall I, well, we'll see what it is after I put this away. So I don't get it messed up or anything. But there we go, that's that. So that's five pieces. Of... Uh, there is there's the page. So after this, there's only two more to collect, and I'll be finished with the Queen Beasts set. So I'm just plop it in there. Not that I'm ever really good at plopping it in, as I might have mentioned in the previous video. Okay, so the White Horse of Hanover. On the death of Queen Anne, last of the Stuarts, the throne passed to George of Hanover, who became George I. At Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, the Horse of Hanover carried to the royal arms, carried the royal arms of George I. The White Horse is a familiar symbol in Kent, which is sometimes said to have been bought to. Brought to the country by Saxon hordes. Shouldn't it be brought? <laughs> um, maybe a slight typo there, I'm not sure. Uh, the Kentish white horse is always depicted rampant or rearing, but the horse of Hanover is shown in full gallop. Very, very nice. So, the last two I'm still needing is the White Greyhound of Richmond and the Griffin of Edward III. Then I'll be officially complete. Because it's got two, four... Six, eight, ten... Huh? Are there ten clean beasts over there? Two, four, six... Eight, ten. Hmm. For some reason, I thought there was more than ten. I don't know. But anyway, that's that's that. So let's let's see what this this thing is. This change checker. I'm putting it over this so I don't get it in the fall. So I got some scissors. Um, because it's got this gray scratchy thing. So I'm guessing. Technically, I guess you'd use the coin, but all my loose coins are in Manifler. Well, that was pretty cool. This is what the trading card thing is. A D-Day 50p coin. Year of Issue, 1994. Here's my birthday, birth year. Um, country of issue, United Kingdom. Reverse designer, Raphael Maklov. Reverse designer, John Mills. Circulating mintage, 6,705,520. That is a very large number to actually say out. Anyway, um, key fact, issued to the com to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'll have to check it out. Changechecker.org is not sharing cards. Interesting, because I've never had that before. <laughs> As you probably saw in the other 
um, previous video, I didn't get one of these. So I wonder if it's a new thing or I don't know. Every other person, who knows? But anyway, that's it. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Ring the bell for notifications. Over and out.